Welcome back to another Build Day Live video here in Boulder, Colorado with NetApp. I'm Alistair Cook and I'm joined by Vinay Shu for this video. Vinay, what is it that you do here at uh, NetApp? Hi, I am a product manager for the Cloud Infrastructure Business Unit, um, which owns NetApp HCI and Storage Grid. Cool, and we're specifically talking about the NetApp HCI today. Maybe we'll talk about Storage Grid on, on another day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as the product manager, you're very involved in the decisions and the, the um, compromises about what's in the product and what's coming in the product later on. Yeah. What are some of the interesting things that have been recently added to the NetApp HCI product? So in the most recent version, um, HCI 1.7, we'll be releasing our hybrid cloud control. Um, so this is the first iteration of our management plane where um, you'll be able to perform upgrades, um, and you'll also be able to deploy on KS. Operational teams are always really interested in how upgrade processes run. The, the really simple deployment, which is a characteristic of, of hyper-converged platforms, is, is great for day one, but that's one day's worth of work, and then there's three, five, maybe seven years worth of life on, on the product, and naturally upgrades come along, and so the, in the end, those are far more important to have simple than the initial deployment. So how does the upgrade process look under this new release of the NetApp HCI? So with 1.7 um, will be the major upgrade improvement that we've made is um, we'll now be able to release incremental um, progress on our hybrid cloud control. While we might not have the whole upgrade process complete in this iteration, you'll be able to see that incremental progress. So as, it's that plumbing in place yes. for the upgrades. Yes. And before we started recording, you're talking about using containers as the a switch to containerized development. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about how that impacts the upgrade processes and capabilities? Yeah, so we have um, in 1.6 of HCI, we released a new architecture that um, our management node is now container-based. Container so what that means is any of those services that support the hybrid cloud control, um, we'll be able to upgrade that very rapidly, um, and it won't require a full-on installation upgrade um, unless those AP we need APIs that are based on the hardware. Um, if those are in place, then we will be able to release these cool features, um, particularly around managing, monitoring, and upgrading. So getting that faster upgrade cycle, the smaller download to just change the, the one uh, microservice that, that requires a change and right. presumably also allows you to develop those features faster by separating them out into smaller code bases, all of the microservices benefits. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other interesting and unique feature of the NetApp HCI is the way that it scales different resources in different ways. Can you tell us a little bit about that and if there's anything special that's, that's had to be built to enable that? Yeah. Um, so in HCI 1.4, we release the ability to, um, an easy way to scale your HCI installation. So it's very similar to NDE today. Um, it's a scale down process, a uh, funny use of that word, um, where you'll be able to add compute nodes and storage nodes independently. And you don't have to always add compute and storage together like many of our other competitors require. And that, that really is the unique characteristic of this HCI, is yes. the ability to scale separately and have dedication of resources. But yeah, still based on your, your company's needs, um, you can buy compute only or storage only. Yeah, that's a, a really powerful different way of scaling. And what are the, the boundaries in terms of that scaling? How large can I build the compute and, and, um, and storage clusters in this environment? So the storage clusters have a max um, capacity of four, 40 storage nodes. And um, we abide by the VMware uh, cluster max, which is 64 nodes. But you're able to create new clusters via um, our scale functionality as well. So again, using, what was the NDE? What was that standing, stands for again? NetApp Deployment Engine. <laughs> so that's just the automation that's wrapped around deploying, making all the deploy phases easy. As right. If you've been watching the, the full uh, Build Day Live, you'll have seen me using that with Kevin as well as we built out the, the environment. Yeah. Well, thank you, Vina, for joining me uh, for this video. And thank you for joining us for this Build Day Live at NetApp Video. Stay tuned. We have plenty more great videos coming to you.